Hello, this is Peter Apocatos, analyst with New Constructs. Welcome to the New Constructs Excel add-in video tutorial. If you have not done so already, please visit the documentation page available on our website as shown here. This page contains a written walkthrough along with in-depth explanations and examples of the same functions available that we're going to cover in this video. The link to download the Excel add-in is available here as well, so if you have not done so already, you can download that from the installation page as shown here. After you've downloaded the add-in to your computer, be sure to extract the compress folder as per usual with any compress folder. After doing so, a newly uncompressed folder should populate. Although not necessary, feel free to save or move the add-in located inside of it anywhere where you may have other add-ins saved that you frequently use. For demo purposes, I'll leave this on the desktop. Now we're ready to install the add-in. After opening Excel, head to the Developer tab. Select Excel Add-ins, Browse, and then point Excel to the New Constructs add-in. It should now populate in this list. Make sure it's checked and hit OK. Now hit that newly populated New Constructs button in your toolbar. First thing we're going to do is hit launch form, and this will bring up the form that we'll be mainly using to access the features of the add-in. But first we must enter our API key. Enter your API key, hit save, and you should be greeted with a verification window that pops up verifying that you entered your key correctly. We're now ready to use the features of the add-in. After entering the API key, you should be taken to this main screen here which is essentially our home screen on the form, which contains all of the endpoints along with what we call formula helpers. Let's start walking through the endpoints. First, we have coverage. This endpoint contains all of the security types that New Constructs covers within its coverage universe. For example, if I want to pull stocks, I can select stocks, and then what we call a formula helper will input the necessary formula and return the data that I want. Just like that, I have every ticker, company name, sector, covered by new constructs. The next endpoint we have is component rating. Component rating will return an individual component rating for a ticker. For example, let's take Apple. If I want to see their ROIC rating, I can select that, hit insert formula, then the formula helper returns everything I need just as it is. Very attractive. If I want to see the rating for free cash flow yield, I can simply select that, move to a new cell, insert formula. Attractive. If I'd rather see the number that corresponds to this rating, I can simply select that here. And now a 2 has been returned, which corresponds with attractive on our, on our risk reward scale on a numerical basis. Moving on, the next endpoint we have is all component ratings. This returns an aggregation of all the component ratings that we have for a ticker. Taking Apple again, I can insert this, and just like that, all the component ratings have automatically been returned for me. Next, we have the data points endpoint. This endpoint serves primarily to serve just to give you a little bit more information on some of our data points, uh, such as for accounts payable here, just a very brief description of the data point, and then where exactly the end, this data point lies within the endpoints. I can return that here if I want, but that information is displayed here just the same. Next, we have reported fundamentals. This endpoint contains data points that are reported by companies within their 10Ks and 10Qs. For example, if I want to see Apple's accounts receivable for 2018, that's accessible here. Just like that, about 48 billion is returned. Next, we have adjusted fundamentals. 
This endpoint contains fundamental data points that New Constructs exclusively calculates and adjusts for in addition to data points reported in the firm's filings. So here we have access to essentially every data point available for a company, whether it be a, re a reported data point such as something as simple as accounts payable, accounts receivable on the balance sheet, or something calculated by New Constructs such as ROIC, NOPAT, etc. Using Apple as example again, I want to see their 2018 ROIC. Simply select that and the formula helper returns it right away. However, since everything is formula driven, if I once I'm comfortable with the add-in and have an idea of how the formulas and functions work, I could get the same result by simply typing in NC adjusted fundamentals, specify my ticker, the data point I want, in this case ROIC, the year, the quarter, which in this case we're going to go for zero because we're not looking for a quarterly item, the TTM period, which corresponds with this input, in this case we're going to go with zero as well because we're not looking for a TTM item. And just like that, the same result is returned entirely formula driven. Instead, if I wanted to see, per se, Apple's 2017 second TTM period, I can get that return just like that. And what this means is on a TTM basis, after Apple has filed its second 10Q for the 2017 fiscal year, its RIC was about 148%. Our final endpoint to touch on is the sector and industry data endpoint. And I have a super, super basic example here just briefly set up to demonstrate some of the basic power of having a formula-driven add-in. A variety of data points are available in the sector and industry data endpoint, ranging all the way from the number of ETFs we may cover for a sector, all the way to aggregated fundamental data, such as return on invested capital, average, median, NOPAT, price to economic book value, etc., all aggregated at the sector and industry level. I have here just a super basic visual setup as you can see here, once you have your formulas set up, I'm referencing here sector one versus sector two, specifying the sector I want here, the data point I want here, specifying a zero, which corresponds with this input, declaring that I want the current year since we are labeling the prior year as zero. Now to continue on here, since I have everything linked and referenced, I wanted to change just this data point real quick to compare these two sectors. If I want to see the median instead, I just change this like that. Boom, everything auto-populates since my references are all set. If I want to compare maybe industrials instead, just like that, about basic materials. Everything auto-populates, auto-updates, since everything is formula-driven. So just to conclude, once again, we highly encourage visiting the documentation page on our website for specific details and examples of how to utilize features, formulas, and function arguments of the add-in. For convenience, the documentation page can always be quickly referenced from the add-in, simply from click clicking the support button located here. Thank you for your time, and we hope you enjoy using the new constructs.